just be open and honest ab about myself and my beliefs. And I want to clear the air and say that for the record, I am a zoophile. What the actual fuck? I'm gone for like a month, right? A month off of the internet. And this shit happens? I am in so much shock right now. So if you aren't aware of what a zoophile is, they're basically doggy diddlers. Yeah, they fuck dogs, which is completely messed up. And this right here is Zappho, one of the most horrible, exposed you could say, zoophiles on the internet. She recently, I guess you could say, um, published a video about quote unquote coming out as a zoophile. And she compares being a zoophile to gays in the 1960s and the human rights movement. And to no surprise, she quickly privated the video, but your boy here did some digging. Uh, and by digging, I mean a YouTube search and scrolling down for like one minute and found a re-upload of this. So let's just react to this, puke our ha hearts out and uh, suffer. You already know if someone has that message at the beginning of the video, they're doing something fucked up. Let's be real. If someone has watched until a halfway of the video before making judgments, you already know what they about to say some fucking dumb shit. Hmm. Hi everyone. You all know me as Safa. No, 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 no. We know you as Doggy Diddler. And I wanted to make a video about coming out. Coming out of where? The dog park, you sick bastard? Coming out with anything can be very difficult, especially if it's something that society currently views with disgust or is a bit dangerous to even come out with with the way that things are right now. You literally fuck dogs. Society is gonna hate this for forever. This is never going to be okay. Dogs are living beings. They shouldn't be treated as sex toys. Even if you think to yourself that you treat them right or something like that, you fucking idiot. And it's a lot like when homosexuals were- Being gay and fucking dogs is not the same thing. The gay rights movement in the 60s is not the same thing as coming out as a doggy diddler in 2022. All right, what the fuck is actually wrong with people? This is the first major thing on the internet that I react to, which is completely fucked up. It's great for content, but my human morals are going down the fucking drain. Read all of the news and social propaganda about how gay people should stay in the closet, how it's unnatural and against nature, and all sorts of crazy shit like that. A lot of you would probably be anti-gay, anti-LGBT, and that's just how it is. How the fuck can you compare anti-gay propaganda and don't fuck your dogs propaganda? It's not the same. It's not the same. I can't even make up a good argument because it's literally like human nature to not fuck your dogs. To just not. Don't fuck your dogs. Okay? <laughs> That's all I have to say. Like seriously, how fucking stupid do you have to be to think, hmm... Ah yes, having sex with dogs. Completely normal, right? P.S. It's fucking not. And I respect you all. We do not respect you. Not in the fucking slightest. Not even a bit of respect. 
I don't have any fucking respect for you. Not for coming out with this video, not for exposing yourself, not for anything. You have no respect. You have literally done the most vile shit a human can do. Frankly, this sort of thing would have leaked out eventually. That doesn't fucking mean we want to hear about it. It doesn't mean we need to hear about it. Dumbass. We don't. We don't need to hear about it. We don't need you coming out with this shit. We don't need you doing anything. This would leak out eventually. I mean, yeah. So you just go ahead and expose yourself like a dumbass? You probably need therapy more than I do. Especially with how cancel culture is these days. Buddy, this ain't about cancel culture. This is about the fact that you fuck dogs. This isn't cancel culture. This is a crime against humanity. No, not against humanity. Against animals. I do not have a thing for humans. I am more attracted to dogs like German shepherds. The only time when Germans are the victims. Nah, but seriously, there's no such a thing as I have a thing for dogs. That shit doesn't exist. That's called being a dumbass and an actual mental person that needs to go to therapy, maybe even to prison, because this is a crime against nature. If you are willing to stay and listen to my view and explanation, that is the point of this video. I will milk this video so much. I will get so many jokes out of this video that it'll be drier than the ocean after SpongeBob takes all of it in that one episode. It is to show that there are ethical guidelines. You broke the guidelines when you decided that you were a doggy diddler. It's not so black and white like many furries think that it is. And a full explanation as to the way that I think and the way that others think and why. I always say everyone is morally gray, that there is no black and white. Um, apparently I was wrong, there is. It's either you fuck dogs or you don't, and I suggest that you don't. Zoophilia is often very misunderstood, especially because of certain very terrible people and what you may have seen in the news. And someone that I will not mention, if you remember that situation with the zoo sadism leaks a few years back. I've been no clue what the fuck you're talking about and I couldn't give a fucking shit. But if someone leaked the fact that a person, a zoophile like you, was hurting and abusing their dog, and you say, oh, not all of us are, are like that. Yeah, you are. You are. If you form a romantic relationship with your pet, you are like that person. Because that is abuse. I can't believe I'm about to say this shit. Animals can't consent. You fucking idiots. Animals can't consent. Unfortunately, when people think of zoophiles, especially furries, that's the person that comes to mind. That is the situation that comes to mind. And I'm talking about horrible abuses. Like the ones you fantasize about? Yeah, because it doesn't matter if you form like just a sexual relationship with your dog or a romantic one or you know, whatever the fuck you form with your dog, that's still abuse. I can't believe I'm saying this shit, but having a romantic relationship with your dog, a romantic one, not just sex, is abuse to your dog because they cannot consent. An animal can't consent, and even if they do, that's still wrong. Fucking animals is wrong. You idiot. So I cut out a huge part of a video about talking 
uh, about some person a couple years ago abusing uh, leaks, animal gore. Uh, it doesn't matter to this situation, but here's the clip after she talked about it. I couldn't imagine somebody doing that sort of shit to my animals, my mate. I agree on one thing with you. Animal gore and animal abuse, what you described of that person doing is horrible. But you just fucking went back to 100% fucked up with my mate. Jesus Christ. My... <sighs> just... I can't imagine who would harm another living being in those ways. Don't you literally fuck dogs? And to be 100% clear, I am not like that. Most of the zoo community is also not like that and utterly despises it. Okay, great. You're one step in the right direction. Don't kill animals and don't torture them. Now all you need to do is stop fucking them. That's all you need to do. And you'll be great. People who force animals into situations they don't want, physically and through other means, are completely deplorable and seen as rapists. Motherfuckers talking to a mirror. Playing with an animal that is not sexually mature is like the equivalent of pedophilia. Um, how do I put this? In your eyes, it is pedophilia. In our eyes, it's the same because it's fucked up and animals are not seen as sexual partners in any sort of fucking way. Both pedophilia and zoophilia are fucking horrible and a crime against nature, as I said. And to you, sure, to your fucking dog diddling ways, it is pedophilia. To us, it's just zoophilia. It's still fucked up no matter the age of the dog. Just. For the 100th time, don't fuck dogs. Yeah, and it's treated as such. I do not support those people, and they do not deserve the same title. If you both fuck dogs, you're both doggy diddlers. Shut the fuck up. They're fetishists and bestialists. I do not want them to be the face of the community. And they should not be the face of the community. The community should not exist. Point. It's like literal Nazis considering themselves furries in the fandom. Did you just call doggy diddlers Nazis? <laughs> Again, talking to a mirror. You don't want them. We don't want them. We don't want that image. It's quite simple, honestly. We don't want them, and we don't want you. So I'm sorry if you want to see more of that. Nobody wants to see more of that. Who am I bullshitting? I'm just gonna cut it here, right? This has been a lot of brain damage, even for me. And I think we should stop watching that because she goes on to explain what ethical zoos are which are basically doggy diddlers but with a moral code <laughs> it's just dumb it's just stupid let's be real it's fucked up it's a crime against life itself and that's that i want to thank you for watching i tried to find uh the leaks that have been involved with this person specifically since there have been leaks of her discord and her grooming minors, which is just completely fucked. Again, she's not just a zoophile, she's also a groomer. And most likely a pedophile. Probably, yeah. But, as I said, I should end here. I don't want any more brain damage to me or to you. I want to thank you for watching. I know I've been gone for a long time, but I'm gonna try to come back. So... Thank you and enjoy the rest of your non-brain damage.